And the Indian Navy is no longer headless, ending suspense of over 50 days. The government today appointed Admiral R.K. Dhovan as the chief of the naval staff, a post that had been lying vacant since February 26th after Admiral D.K. Joshi quit over a series of operational incidents. Admiral Robin K. Dhavan taking over as India's 22nd naval chief on Thursday. The Defence Ministry named Dhavan as chief of naval staff 51 days after Admiral D.K. Zoshi resigned, taking moral responsibility following a series of accidents. Admiral Dhavan will have a 25-month tenure. He takes over at a time when the Navy appears to be in a disarray. His first task will be to restore morale and ensure that highest standards of professionalism are followed. Starting with an accident on the submarine INS Sindhu Rakshak last August, the Navy has suffered at least 11 major and minor mishaps, leading to Admiral Zoshi's abrupt resignation in February. The Navy is a highly professional service. We will follow the standard operating procedures to ensure that the accidents don't happen. The Indian Navy is going to be ever vigilant to see that we safeguard our maritime interests. The new Navy chief has superseded Vice Admiral Shekhar Sinha, the Western Naval Command Chief and the Indian Navy's senior most officer. All eyes will now be on the next step that Vice Admiral Sinha takes. Meanwhile, the new Navy chief will have to make sure that the abysmal force levels of submarines and other critical shortages like naval helicopters are overcome in double-quick time. In New Delhi, Nitin Gokhale for NDTV.